And of course, we want to talk more about all this. Let's bring in Chief Innovation Officer at Boston Children's Hospital and ABC News Medical Contributor, Dr. John Brownstein. Oh, John, this is scary. It really is. Uh, just when we think we get a handle on it, right? Well, we just heard uh, the chief medical officer there of Moderna. He talked about, you know, waiting for answers about the vaccine effectiveness against Omicron. And the South African doctor who spotted this variant says that symptoms are mild. So let's talk about just where we are at this point, what we know with regard to how this spreads and how it's comparing to Delta. Yeah, thanks, Kara. There are a lot more questions than answers right now, unfortunately. I know we press the panic button to a certain degree, but we still need to wait for more data. You know, it's not clear yet whether Omicron is more transmissible than Delta. The early signs in South Africa show that it may be displacing the Delta variant, which tells us that it may spread faster, but we just don't know yet. We also don't know whether it's more severe or more mild. You know, there was initial, you know, signs that hospitalizations were increasing, but that might just because of be because of widespread. Um, disease and transmission in the community. We all saw those anecdotal reports of maybe milder illness, but we just don't know. And I think that's what we have to show now is some humility. These variants are emerging. We need to study them. It may take days or weeks, um, but we just, you know, have a lot of questions about this variant. And this is why, you know, scientists around the world are racing to get some of these answers. Well, we know that some Americans uh, have gotten their boosters so far, but others are just starting to make their appointments, including me. <laughs> um, should those Americans, should all of us, be getting boosters even though we don't know if the vaccines will actually need to be tweaked for this new variant? You know, it's a question I keep getting, and you know, people may be holding off from a booster to think about maybe there's a new uh, version of the vaccine that they might want. But the reality is, now is the time to get that booster. It'll dramatically reduce your risk of infection from Delta, which is what is circulating right now and is our biggest threat currently in the U.S. But it will likely decrease your risk of Omicron when it hits uh, the U.S. It may already be here. And so, you know, we know that it has these extensive mutations that may sort of chip away at efficacy, but likely these vaccines will still do a good job of reducing severe illness and risk of death. So now's the time to do it. I know that there's discussions that in the coming months we may have a new formulation, but it's really not the time to wait. I think we're still months out from that. So if you are eligible for that booster, I say get it right now because, you know, it is in all likelihood we will see, you know, a surge regardless of Omicron in the coming months because of winter, because of people gathering together. Uh, you know, now's the time to do it to really stem a, a real surge that we might see in the population going forward. All right. Good advice. Also, you know, so many of us are returning home from Thanksgiving um, and we're already thinking about our travel plans that we've booked uh, for the next holiday. So what do you think? Do we cancel our plans? Do we stay home? Do we just keep moving forward? You know, I, I know there's a lot of questions around this. I don't think I would change any plans right now. Obviously, we have to be flexible and we have to recognize that things will change. But we have to remember, we're probably not going to ever get back to March 2020. We've had widespread infection. We have vaccines. So there's a lot of immunity in the population that will protect against, say, an Omicron surge, even if we do see some increase in cases. So I really wouldn't, you know, change anything. Our vaccines may take a little bit of a hit. We don't know yet. People need to be flexible, recognize that things might change, but right now, you know, don't cancel any plans that you might have. Okay, that's, that's good news again. <laughs> the president, as you know, is expected to address us and address the nation later this morning on this variant. What do you want to hear from him? You know, obviously we've heard a lot of discussions about travel bans in the last few days. I'm worried that those bans will really not do very much. They might slow spread by a matter of days, if not a week, but ultimately, you know, this variant emerged because of global vaccine equity. You know, there are many pockets of this globe that are under vaccinated, that have not had the access that we've had in this country. And we know that that is part of the reason why these new variants emerge. So I want to hear about global vaccine equity. I, I do want to hear about resources being put towards genomic surveillance so we can pick up these variants. I want to hear about increase in efforts to get primary immunizations as well as boosters, because we know that we're so slow on that booster uptake. And then finally, I'm really interested in, in resources around disinformation and misinformation. You know, the number of rumors that I see on social media run rampant. What can we do to, to really prevent the spread of rumors that ultimately are undermining our ability to vaccinate this population? So what do you think we should be doing now then to just protect ourselves while we wait to learn more? Is there anything we can do 
that we haven't been doing already to just try and prevent, you know, from being infected? You know, I don't really think anything changes. You know, Omicron raises the stakes, but it's what we, we're doing already, vaccination, boosters, testing, ventilation. I mean, obviously, I keep re reiterating the single most important thing you should do is get vaccinated or boosted. You know, if, if Omicron, you know, isn't a reason to do it, I, I'm not really sure what is. I do think testing is going to be super important. If you're sick or you think you've had an exposure or you've been traveling, testing is going to be so important this week as we're trying to identify this new variant and what the impact is going to be in this population. So really, Kieran, nothing really more than what we've been doing. We just need to be extra vigilant right now, especially as we head into these winter months. All right, Dr. John Brownstein, thank you so much. Appreciate all your advice. Of course, we'll continue the conversation and we will be all over this. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.